Right. David Barnson is here. Look, there's the futures. Not much reaction to the inflation, stagflation reform. But David Barnson's with us this morning. We're in a deep recession. No, we're in a recession. We've got stagflation. Can the Fed keep raising rates rapidly? Um, no, at some point they're going to have to capitulate, and they were always going to capitulate. And they'll say it's because they want to counter the negative economic a aspect. It's really because ultimately the Fed is a coddler of financial markets. And eventually, whether it's housing, stock market, credit markets, which is a huge thing no one's talking about, um, the, the Fed will end up chickening out. But I don't believe that the Fed believes that them raising rates is actually the antidote to this inflation because we do not have high inflation because we've had low interest rates. We have distorted markets because of low interest rates and they need to be higher but the interest rates are not what caused the energy production to go so far down. We have a supply side generated inflation problem. That's the real truth no one wants to talk about. And will this extra trillion dollars worth of spending that's been proposed just this week, will that lower inflation? Well, of course not. I don't know where people are getting the trillion from. I've read the entire bill and everything I'm seeing is absurd spending and silly, but it, it doesn't come close to a trillion. So I don't know where that number is coming from. But of course, it isn't going to lower inflation. So putting a, a label on it of the Lower Inflation Act is similar to my diet plan, Stuart. I, I want to <laughs> lose weight by increasing steak in Chinese food. I know that all of our viewers look forward to your, inter to your dividend plays, and you brought two with you today. First of all, 3M. What's the dividend? Why do you like it? Yeah, I mean, 3M has been one of the great dividend growers in American history for almost 100 years. They've grown the dividend every year, but they had the best report this week that they've had since we bought the stock about two years ago. And so the dividend is oh, about 4%, great dividend growth, and they're spinning off their health care unit, which is really going to create a lot of value. The second one is the Simon Property Group, mall operators. Why do you like them? Yeah, they're going to announce earnings Monday afternoon. And I think that the stock is down a lot this year because people think, oh, folks are shopping less and the economy is tough. But the landlords still have to pay rent. And they own great assets, great real estate, and there's just a lot of value in this. But, Stuart, you're going to love this. It's paying a 6.5% dividend. Wow. So we like the stock price being low, earnings coming up, and a great 6.5% yield. Wow, 6.5% yield. I could go for that, definitely. Uh, David, thank you very much. We'll see you again real soon. Good stuff, man. Thank you. Yes, sir.